On November 23rd, 2021, Nintendo tweeted that the last free update was available in Mario Golf Super Rush. This final update added new characters, courses, and modes. But does adding all this to the game even make it worth the hefty $60 price tag? That's what we want to discuss and hopefully I can help you determine whether or not the cost is justified. Funny enough, I made a video about this subject a while back, but that was before this last free update. It's easy to say that that video is just a tiny bit outdated. But this video will cover what's been added to the game since launch. First, let's talk about the characters. At launch, Super Rush had 16 characters to choose from, as well as your me, adding up to a total of 17. After the game's three free updates, we're given five more characters to choose from. Toadette, Koopa, Ninji, Shy Guy, and Wiggler. All right, all right, all right. So we got 22 characters total. 21 if you don't count the me option. No Birdo, but that's okay. They're in Mario Party Superstars. Also off topic, but Nintendo, please give that game free DLC. Okay, anyways, good amount of character choices. But what about the maps and the game modes? We'll start with the maps. At release, there were six maps in total. The Rookie Course, Bonnie Greens, Bridge Rock Lake, Balmy Dunes, Wild Weather Woods, and Bowser Highlands. And since launch, they have released five maps. They're New Dong City, Blustery Basin, Spiky Bombs, Shell Top Sanctuary, and All-Star Summit, with New Donk City and Shell Top Sanctuary only being par 3 courses with an amateur and a pro version. Huh. They added 5 characters and 5 maps. That's a coincidence. Or is it? No, it is. It's just a total coincidence. And before I go off topic, I will say the overall landscape for All-Star Summit looks really stunning. Really love the look of the map. I don't love me stinking at it, but the way it looks... 10 out of 10. I guess you could say it's a hole in one. <laughs> okay, I'll leave now. Okay, 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 I'm back. All right, we've got maps and characters. Next, we have game modes. The first major game mode is adventure mode. You create a me golfer and then level them up in a campaign going through all the original six courses. It's generally pretty short and you can probably beat it in less than 10 hours. Now, outside of that, on release, they had your classic standard golf. The lowest score wins. I will say to this day, standard mode is still the most fun. They also had speed golf, where you and your opponents tee off at the same time and race through the course trying to sink your ball in the hole the fastest. And lastly, they had battle golf, where all players tee at the same time on an open nine-hole course game. And once someone sinks their ball in the hole... The hole closes. Battle Golf also has obstacles and items that can be used to get the upper hand on your opponent. I thought Battle Golf was really unique and could be a big selling point, but even after all the free updates, it only has one map to play on it, so it can get a little old after a while. I got tired after a few games, not gonna lie. But that's all the stuff they had on release, and luckily, all these updates did add a few more game modes. We'll talk about Ranked Mode first, since we talked about it in the last video. Ranked mode today is still very simple and has a very casual feel to it. You play three holes on a map in rotation and the lowest score wins. No matter how you perform, you will gain points towards a higher rank, with the highest rank being S+. But in reality, there's no incentive on getting S+. The only incentive in ranked is a cosmetic item that you get for achieving A- in one of the four game modes, and the cosmetic will change on the first day of every month. I don't know how long they'll offer a new cosmetic every month, but so far, all the cosmetics have been nice little bonuses. But the last time I did play ranked, there wasn't too many people playing. You might get stuck with CPUs in the ranked game, but that could be better competition for you. Who knows? You could suck. And that's basically their quote-unquote ranked mode. But they actually did add a few more game modes. They added a game mode called Target Golf, where you take turns trying to hit a target on a course. Usually all the targets are on the green or really close to the green. And if you miss, it's a strike. Every once in a while, the ball may change to give it a little extra challenge. And then lastly, they added one on, one putt. This gives you one chance to get onto the green and then one more chance to make the putt on all 18 holes of New Dong City and Shell Top Sanctuary. And like the maps normally do, there's two different versions with Pro and Amateur. And then Shell Top Sanctuary has one special game mode if you clear all four of them. And then to make the game a little bit easier, you have 10 free retries if you mess up on one of the holes. Uh, yeah, let me check my watch here. Yeah, that seems to be basically almost all the content they've added in almost one year of Mario Golf Super Rush. They did add a little card on the main menu to display medals for completing certain tasks in the game. And I was going to try to get them all, but it turns out you don't really get anything besides a nice little image saying you did it. If you're a completionist, those medals could be a good 50 hours, maybe more, maybe less. But overall, the game has added a good amount of content all for free. Does it justify the $60 price tag? I can't decide for you, but for me, it does. 
I got my money's worth on this game, even if Erdo's never playable. I got Mario Party for that. I still do believe it's the best Mario sports game since Mario Baseball on the Wii. But with Mario Strikers coming out in June, I'd suggest you save your money for that game if you want a great Mario sports game and can only afford one. Nothing against golf, it's just that Strikers is much more fun and has much more replayability. Either way, thanks for watching this Mario Golf video. This is my third Mario Golf video on this channel, and it's probably 100%, not probably, it's 100% my last Mario Golf video. Appreciate you watching, and I'll see you next time. Oh, also sub if you want. I love playing games and making videos. Also, follow me on Twitch if you want to see me play some games live with a great community. See ya!